At the Phillips Collection, an American master's vision of Hiroshima counters that of child survivors. I'm Peter Winant, and my best bet is Jacob Lawrence and the children of Hiroshima. Lawrence's illustrations, commissioned in 1983, are startling interpretations of journalist John Hershey's superlative, you must read, 1946 account of six survivors of the Hiroshima bomb, first published by the New Yorker magazine. In 1947, seven to 10 year old survivors who had lost 400 of their schoolmates only two years earlier, documented their lives in seemingly innocent and hopeful crayon drawings. At first glance, the contrast between Lawrence's stark images and the children's seem clear. Lawrence's apocalyptic scenes compress time immediately before, during, and after the moment of the blast. Souls in homes, parks, and marketplaces strangely frozen, flesh evaporating from their faces, their world now a jumble of wreckage and eerie calm. The figures in Boy with a Kite look skyward for bombers, hands clenching while the child's kite lays broken on the ground. One figure has a chunk of debris landing on their head. In family, we see a shattered table. An empty window looks out at nothing. A dead harbinger lies on the sill. On the other walls, children inhabit a wall of play, blue skies, and clear rivers. Self-portraits are steady and strong. But is this the world they were truly seeing in Hiroshima, or one they wanted to see? I'm particularly intrigued by Red Ball. A chaos of 50 spheres fills the picture among a jumble of 15 children. A boy and a girl grasp a pole that's perhaps a target. And who is that child prostrate in the foreground? What's going on? It's a game, I guess, but wow. This small but important exhibit is at the Phillips Collection until November 27th. With Around Town Best Bets, I'm Peter Winant. Thank you for joining us. For more Around Town Best Bets, visit us online at weta.org slash best bets.